Hello viewers, welcome to another session of my pharmacology series. So today I'll be talking of the anticholinergic drugs which are very commonly called as the parasympatholytics. So viewers, while talking of the anticholinergic drugs, so the first, the first drug or the prototype drug of this series is the atropine. So, the, uh, while talking of the clinical uses and the adverse effects, the mnemonic or the short trick what I have made to easily recollect as to what are the clinical uses and the adverse effects of the anticholinergic drug that is atropine, we can very easily, uh, we, uh, I have made a mnemonic. So, the atropine is obtained from the plant Atropa belladona or the Dhatura stramonium. So, the Atropa, the clinical uses can be recollected if we just look at the initials of the letter A-T-R-O-P-A, -A, that is Atropa and the adverse effects can be better remembered if we just look at the initials of the letter D-H-A-T-U-R-A, Dhatura. So viewers, one thing more I would like to tell you that the atropine is obtained from the plant Atropa belladona, which is the scientific or the botanical name for the atropine plant or in Hindi it is called also called as the Dhatura plant or the biological name is also Dhatura stramonium. So viewers, already I have told you that the clinical uses can be better recollected by if we just relate the every initial that is A T R O P A, we can very easily make out as to what are the clinical uses of atropine. So the first A of the atropa corresponds to the as a mydriatic cycloplegic. So viewers, so this is used topically in refraction testing fundoscopy and giving rest to the inflamed eye. So viewers, the first A stands for the as a mydriatic. So the first clinical use, it can be the atropine is used very widely, most commonly used in the, uh, in, it is applied topically and it is used in the, uh, by eye surgeons in refraction testing, fundoscopy and giving rest to the inflamed eye. So the atropine is of a great clinical use for the eye surgeons. The T of the atropa refers to the traveler's diarrhea. So the other clinical use where atropine is very widely used is in the treatment of traveler's diarrhea. The R corresponds to the rapid onset mushroom poisoning. So viewers, if some patients, if somebody has going to have a mushroom poisoning, so this atropine can also be used in the treatment of rapid onset mushroom poisoning. The O of the atropine refers to the organophosphorus poisoning. So viewers, another clinical use can be better uh, viewed as from the O of the atropa, which refers to the in the treatment of organophosphorus poisoning. So patients who have experienced the patients who come to the OPD having an organophosphorus poisoning can be treated by using the prototype drug atropine. So the next P of the atropa refers to the as a pre-anesthetic medication. So we are very well aware that atropine is also used as in as a pre-anesthetic medication and the last A, the last clinical use of the atropine, the last A of the atropa refers to the arrhythmias or the brady arrhythmias that is the slowing down of the irregular pulsations or the irregular uh, heartbeats in the form of arrhythmias. So the anticholinergic drug atropine can also be used in the treatment of various arrhythmias, particularly the Brady arrhythmias. Next, we we'll just have, we are going to have a quick uh, review as to what are the adverse effects which the anticholinergic drug atropine causes. So already I have told you viewers, just by looking at the initials of the letter Dhatura, that is DHA. T U R A, we can very easily recollect as to what are the adverse effects of atropine. So the D of the dhatura refers to the dry mouth. That is the patients who are on atropine 
drug therapy they experience difficulty in swallowing and speaking the next h of the dhatura corresponds to basically the two side effects are there that H can be uh, remembered in the form of the two H that is the first H refers to the hot and dry skin and the next H refers to the hypotension so from the alphabet H we can make out the two another two adverse effects in the form of hot and dry skin and the next in the form of hypotension the A of the atropine refers to accommodation paralysis that is the blurring of near vision so the patients who are on atropine therapy can experience accommodation paralysis which can lead to blurring of their near vision so viewers the t refers to tachycardia so the patients can experience tachycardia also as an adverse effect the u of the atropine refers to urinary retention and fecal retention which is very commonly called as constipation. So the patients who are on atropine therapy can experience as an adverse effect the urinary retention and the fecal retention that is constipation. The R of the dhatura refers to respiratory depression. So the patients who are on atropine therapy can experience a depression in their respiration rate the last A of the dhatura refers to ataxia and acute congestive glaucoma may precipitate. So viewers, this was my mnemonic or the short trick as to how we can very easily recollect the clinical uses, the clinical uses from the mnemonic atropa and the adverse effect from the mnemonic dhatura of the anticholinergic drug of the anticholinergic drug that is atropine so viewers this was my mnemonic or the short trick as to how we can very easily remember the clinical uses and the adverse effect of the prototype drug of the anticholinergic series viewers if you do like my video don't forget to subscribe my channel and do press the bell icon so that you can be further updated about my newer videos thank you for watching